Hi everyone, my name is Bilal Khan and welcome to Simplified Coding. In this first section of the course, I will give you a quick overview of what we will be learning in the upcoming videos. So let's get started. In this section, we will discuss what KSP or Kotlin Symbol Processing is and explore its uses and benefits. You might already be using some of its features without realizing it. Kotlin Symbol Processing or KSP is a tool that helps you generate code during compilation by reading and processing annotations in your code. It's faster and more Kotlin friendly compared to other tools like KAPT. You might already know that we used to use KAPT, the Java annotation processor. But why do we now have KSP or Kotlin Symbol Processing? Let's talk about some of its benefits. Because it works directly with Kotlin's compiler, KSP is more efficient. It is Kotlin first, meaning all Kotlin specific features can be used with KSP. The API is simpler compared to KAPT with more intuitive naming and usage. Debugging is also easier as errors are easier to trace since it operates directly on Kotlin code. Finally, KSP supports Kotlin multi-platform. I think these reasons are enough to get you started with learning KSP. We use KSP primarily for generating code. Whenever there is a repetitive task in our project, we can easily reduce boilerplate code by automatically generating it with KSP. In fact, you might have already used it in your project without realizing it. For example, if you have used the parcelize annotation, it automatically generates the parcelable code for classes. If you have used dependency injection tools like Hilt, you often work with annotations and the dependency code is generated automatically. Another common example is Room Database. When you create DAO and Entity annotations, KSP generate the code in the background, so you do not have to write the boilerplate yourself. Amazing, right? Let's look at an example. Remember creating DAO for your Room implementation and using annotations like upsert and query? It's not magic. The annotation processor in the background generates the actual code, which you can find in the build generated folder. Now I think you have a basic understanding of KSP and realize that you have already been using it. But that is not all. You can create your own annotations and generate code for your specific use case. However, that's the topic for the next section. So in this section, we learned what is Kotlin Symbol Processing. We understood its benefits and usages. And we saw some examples that we were already using in our project. So that is all for this section friends. I hope you found this video helpful and learned something. In the next section, we will start our Android project and we will try to create our own custom annotation. So thanks for watching. In case you have any problem or suggestion, you can leave your comments below and I will see you in the next video.